I can feel my heart racing a little bit. I should not be this worked up over this, but I just am like, ah. Hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here or welcome back if you've been here before. For those who don't know me very well, my name is Melissa and I used to be a part-time manager at a Bath & Body Works for about six years. And now I'm here on YouTube making Bath & Body Works content as well as the occasional cozy seasonally relevant content. As a lot of you may already know, one of my specialties and kind of my paths of interest in terms of Bath & Body Works is actually based around the history and kind of the 1990s mall era and kind of just retail culture and especially through Bath & Body Works, I just feel like the Heartland era, which is kind of the 1990s through to the early 2000s, that period of Bath & Body Works is really what interests me. I have a special treat. It's been really hard to like contain myself. I've been wanting to open this. I've actually ordered this a long time ago and it took a very long time to send. Oh, I don't even know how to explain it to you. So pretty much I was on eBay and I was looking at vintage Bath & Body Works and I found something that just blew my mind. I kind of already know what they look like, but they are photographs of Bath & Body Works from the 90s. <laughs> so I finally got in the mail these vintage photographs of Bath & Body Works stores. It's from the inside of the store and there's people in them too and products. So I'm just so excited to open this. I hope you are too. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content, if you like Bath & Body Works, or if you kind of like that vintage history of Bath & Body Works, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'd love to do more of these types of videos. Before I open this, let me tell you a little bit about this company that I was able to find these pictures through. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading this on my phone, but they have a website. It's called IMS Vintage Photos. And they are a website that says they are strongly involved in preserving history and helping archives around the world in digitalizing their physical images, photos, and prints. So IMS was founded as a picture agency in January 21st of 1946. However, we started selling actual original vintage photographs to a global clientele from 2013. So what I'm going to be unboxing today are original photographs that they had collected. We are experts in the digitalization process of physical photographs. That is why we partner with newspaper archives all over the world and get access to their historic and original pictures in exchange for assisting them with overall digitalization process. The newspaper archives and stuff like that will send this company their photos and then they scan them, keyword them, and send them back the digitalized format and then they sell the original preserved vintage press photographs. So these are newspaper pictures that they have digitalized, sent back to the original owners, and now I'm the collector that has purchased this. This was actually from the IMS vintage photos seller through eBay and so I got this from eBay. This was actually from Latvia. So they're actually very far away and it took a long time to send, but I'm gonna open it. Let's find what's inside. Can't really see, it's too dark. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh wow. So they're plastic wrapped right now. I just washed my hands too, so. Um, my hands are clean. How do we get these open? Yeah, they are original photographs. They're really big. I thought they were gonna be like the size of postcards, but they are big. So this one is black and white actually, but I have some that are in color too. So let me get my scissors and carefully open these. Oh, I don't need scissors. There's actually some writing and pen on them too. So I may get a little bit of information about these pictures. I cannot open this fast enough. Oh, okay, this is so great. All right, it's shiny, so my ring light might kind of have some glare. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Okay, so first of all, a couple of things just right off the bat. First of all, look at the props they're using. They're using those wooden apple baskets. And we see the associate, she's wearing her original gingham apron. This is what my store looks like. This is like the old Heartland store. It looks a lot like mine. So we see up in this corner as I'm zooming in here, those are green hanging lights and they have red gingham on the wall. Look at what this lady is wearing and look at her makeup. It's so 90s. She's wearing like the dark lipstick. Everything about this screams 90s. The store is packed. There's so many people shopping. Okay, so we have some information written on the bottom here in pen. 
So it says Bath and Body Works, Milton Koynes. I can't read the handwriting, but I'll be able to decipher it. After looking into it further, I realized that the set of photographs were taken in a Bath and Body Works in Milton Keynes, which is actually in Buckinghamshire, England. This blew my mind and I'm currently looking into it further because as you know, Bath & Body Works is predominantly an American store. And only up until this year, I believe, there were no stores in the UK aside from one lone, small pop-up situation in one of their shopping centers. I did also find an article from 1994 which talks about a Bath & Body Works opening in England as well, so I'll link that in the description box. I think it's pretty clear that maybe Bath & Body Works' attempt to infiltrate Europe maybe didn't go as planned considering it has like 10 or less stores in the entire continent. So I think there's a little bit of a mystery there to be solved. So if you have any insight on Bath & Body Works and its presence in the UK back in the 1990s, please share that in the comment section. There's another associate. They're doing demos. The flooring, that's the same flooring that my Bath & Body Works store has. She's doing a skin demo. That's crazy. Look at the walls. I wish I knew who these people were. Hey, if you're watching my video and you're one of these people, comment below, reach out to me, send me a message or something. <laughs> the next page we have, actually, this is not Bath & Body Works. This is the body shop. So we can have a comparison. So this top one is the body shop. And then down here is our Bath & Body Works. Look at that. The lighting is very interesting. It looks a lot darker. It could be just the camera quality, the way that it was when they took the picture, maybe if they had flash on or something. So this was actually 1994. That is so cool. They've got this main fixture here. They're selling gingham, but there's even a rocking chair right there. They've got kind of like this interesting setup display here with a blue chair and like some gingham filler to help fill up these baskets. That looks like it could be country apple or sun ripened raspberry maybe, maybe plumeria, something that was pink or red. Um, over here, something to note is look at the baskets that they're using to shop with. Nowadays we have blue mesh bags, but they've got these little wooden ones here. It's also interesting to see what people are wearing. The fashion of 1994 is very interesting. Kind of some windbreakery coats and stuff um, on the walls. On the walls, they've got headers in the cabinets. So this one says body moisturizers, I think. And then that one I think says bubble baths. This lady right here is shopping in the men's section. And right on the counter, they actually have a bowl full of these little happy massagers. I've seen these little massagers. They're like these little wooden massager things. That floor and the green lights. That's just like my Bath & Body Works store. All right, let's look at the next one. You're gonna love this next picture. This is so great. This is so amazing. So here she's demoing on this child, those little happy massagers, that wooden massager I was talking to you about. And look at her grandpa or her dad, I assume it's her grandpa, is all smiling at her. They had so many employees in these pictures and they look like they're doing such a good job selling and demoing to customers. I don't know if they were just kind of putting it on for the camera. I don't think they were though, because like even the way I was trained like 2015 and on, we really did work hard to make sure we gave like a full customer experience. I feel like this day and age, ever since COVID, that's gotten a little bit watered down, or at least in my store, no one has ever demoed on me before. Not everybody in my store now knows that I used to work there and I'm just a regular regular customer to them. It's interesting that whenever I walk in there, nobody's really giving me the customer experience. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you feel like when you go to a Bath & Body Works, the employees give you kind of that customer service package deal, or if they're just kind of like leaving you alone or kind of just distracted by doing other tasks and stuff. Nobody has asked me what fragrances I like. Nobody's asked me what I've come in to shop for. Nobody's asking me if I want to try a new fragrance or demo something on my skin. Like nobody's uncovering about me. Like, I don't feel like it's about me when I go into the store. And you can tell in these pictures and the way that I was trained even as well, that we really cared about that kind of thing. We wanted the customer to feel special. And you can really tell in these pictures that everybody who's in the store is having such a great time, both employee and customers. So over here, we have a big menu board and it says fresh ideas, enjoy great looking skin, all season with our shower gels, body lotions, and bubble baths. Oh, yep, it's Country Apple. So on that menu board right here, Country Apple. 
That is so cool. I think if I were to think of one fragrance as being classic Heartland era 1990s Bath and Body Works, it has to be Country Apple just because it just matches with their branding and their marketing and everything so well. So up here on the wall, we've got a header that says healthy hair. So it looks like they're selling shampoos and conditioners. It kind of reminds me of the aromatherapy a little bit. That could be lavender vanilla. We've got two ladies over here and they're shopping in the gift set market. I see lots of woven wicker baskets with products inside and they're all cellophane and they have like big Christmas ribbons tying them all together. That is so great. And then over here in this very corner, we have another employee right there and she's looking at something down over here. Let's see if you can get a closer look. Look, there's glycerin bar soaps all wrapped up. She's holding a basket. And then on the wall here, this almost looks like this could be like their aromatherapy. It kind of looks like a wellness section. There's those massagers again. And then down here, we've got some like pillar candles. We love Helen. She looks like she's doing an amazing job demoing. The 15th of October, 1994. I love that. This is so good. This was taken the same day as the little girl and her grandpa. So this was October 15th of 1994. So this is a mother and daughter and they're shopping and their names are Naomi and Margaret. So the daughter Naomi was 12 years old when this picture was taken and it was 1994. So that would have meant that 28 years have gone by. So she would be 40 years old now. So if you're watching this, Naomi, leave me a comment below, message me on my Instagram, reach out to me or something. And it also looks like maybe there is another little girl even younger down here. I wonder if they're together. She looks like she could be related to the mom here. But we've got some shower gels and a basket down here. And then there is that same kind of menu board that we saw in the last picture that says fresh ideas and they are advertising country apple and then just to refresh your memory it says enjoy great looking skin all season with our shower gels body lotions and bubble baths so kind of moving to looking at the details of the background we can see lots of colorful bottles on the wall and they even have an editor or what we call an editor essentially it's just like a metal tower and they have these huge bottles of colorful product i wish i could see what they are um, look at the light fixtures and the red gingham on the walls. There's some people in the background too. Someone's wearing a hat back there. And back here is that employee. It looks like she might be talking to someone, although I don't see anybody over here, but there's an employee in an apron over there too. All right, I have one more picture to share with you and I just love this picture. Here is kind of an overall look at it. We have Natasha and Sophie. They are shopping. They could be roommates. Maybe they're friends. They must be good friends because it looks like they might have color coordinated a little bit when they went to the mall today. So this was also taken on October 15th of 1994. And they are smelling shower gels together. It looks like Sophie is showing Natasha a shower gel that she found and she's having her smell it. And over here, we've got one of those metal editors. This is a closer look at the editor that I was talking about, that tower. Look at the background. So we have a large prop on top of that blue cabinet and it is a gigantic sized gingham perfume and you can see the products on the shelves are also gingham perfume. Down here, we've got some loofahs and shower gels and more wooden baskets. Lots of shower gels. I feel like bubble bath and shower gel was kind of like their jam. Like that was kind of mainly what they were doing. And then we have a different view of that same sandwich board that had the country apple on it. This one is a little different. It says, treat yourself tonight. Our bubble bath and accessories are the perfect way to pamper yourself. And it looks like they just have a picture of like a poured bubble bath and they've got kind of those natural loofahs and some dry brushes, maybe a pillar candle right there, I think. Very neat. I love to see the marketing. You can almost see outside the store and the rest of the mall. I can kind of read this tag right here that's in this shower gel bin here. So this says, our bubble bath and accessories are the perfect way to pamper yourself. Makes sense. This is leading towards the outside of the mall. I almost think that says Galaxy, but I'm not sure. That could be a different storefront or a restaurant or something. On Natasha's cup, it's cut off so you can't read it completely, but it says slushy on one side and then something pie on the other side. It makes me think maybe she bought that at a concession stand in the mall. Uh, I kind of think of food courts were pretty popular in the 90s in malls. So I imagine they had slushy machine. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that here, but on the cup it's cut off, 
but there's a little blue winter hat with a pom-pom on it. After I looked closer and researched more, I realized she's holding a slush puppy cup. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun going down memory lane. I want to open up the comment section to be kind of a place of discussion. If you have any memories of shopping in the Bath and Body Works stores uh, around the 1990s or in the early 2000s, please share your memories down below. If you have one of these older style stores in your location, please also let me know down below. If you want to share pictures with me, you can also message me on Instagram and share with me any photos you have of what your Bath and Body Works looks like now. I still need to do a tour sometime because mine is one of these styles and there's lots of little interesting factoids you can see just like on the walls and on the cabinets even in the flooring and stuff so it's very interesting thank you so much again for going down memory lane with me and i will see you in my next video bye